Hey guys, I'm Andrea Peterson, and today we're gonna do a yoga ground class that is going to work on our hips. Oh, everyone loves a good hip opener, and especially, you know, we sit all day, we work all day, we're in this like squat position, and our legs are just getting really tired and cringy and all that good stuff. So today, we are gonna just settle into those hips. We're gonna give them some love, forward and backwards. The cool thing about the hips, just real quick before we even get started, there are over 20 muscles in the hips. And this is that area you have your inner thighs, you have your outer thighs, you have your hip flexors, you have your glutes, and right deep down inside it is the psoas muscle, which is that muscle that gets you to move that hinging action, that running forward, running away, that deep, deep muscle that connects the upper torso with the lower torso. So this is all that good stuff that we are gonna work physically. And then emotionally, our hips are related to our our lower chakra area, which is all about creativity and openness. And so there might be some fun energetic shifting happening after your yoga practice today or in the coming hours or days. So enjoy it. But let's just go ahead and we're gonna start, just ground down into mountain pose. Drop everything and feel yourself smiling nice and tall and long from heels to head. Drop those shoulders back, spread those thumbs open and just take a deep breath in and slowly sigh it out. Beautiful, big belly breath in and out. And really start bringing your awareness to your hips. So if you'll notice, if you turn your feet out, you clench your, your butt, basically. Um, and that's how a lot of people stand, especially if you're a dancer, you're used to that. So notice how it's tight. If you turn them in just a little bit, you'll notice your hips spread out and your butt softens. And if you turn them in even just a little bit more, we get a nice wide release of the muscles in the back. So as we're flowing today, just definitely make sure that your feet are either slightly turned in or straight forward, just so we're not holding any tension that we don't need. So dropping it back down, closing those eyes one more time, taking a deep breath in, and sighing it out. And really try very hard not to clench your hips. Deep breath in, and out. Beautiful. Place that left hand on your belly, right hand on your heart, and really connect with any anxieties that you might be feeling right now. And really with every exhale, just release it out the mouth. Just a big sigh, big breath in, and exhale it out. <sighs> Again, big belly breath in, and out. <sighs> really allow yourself to release any anxieties, any expectation. Again, those hips are that place of running forward or running away, that hip action. You know, either to run away, <laughs> run towards a fight, or run and cower away from a lion. This goes way back into our history. So let's try to release that so we have all awareness and focus in our mind and our heart to make good decisions and to think clearly. Take a deep breath in. Again, sigh it out. Beautiful, releasing everything. One more time, big inhale in and out. Drawing your hands to heart center, take a moment and set your intention for your practice. Whatever it is that you've come here, the reason you click the button to watch this video, the reason you wanted some hip openers, whether you're physically really tight or emotionally feeling uncreative, take a moment and settle into it and breathe your attention into your heart and releasing it into the space. Big belly breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Again, one more time, big inhale in. And exhale it out. Softly open up your eyes. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky, nice and high and on your exhale, sweep them back down and around, soften your knees and drop over. Inhale, coming up halfway, nice and soft. Exhale, ribs to thighs, drop your head. Again, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. We're just hinging in those hips just a little bit to get them nice and warm. Inhale, up. And exhale, back down. One more time. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold all the way over. Inhale, sweep those arms behind you to lift yourself all the way up to the sky. Exhale, sweep your arms behind you down and around to heart center. Take a deep breath in and side out the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale up. 
Exhale over, allow the breath to guide your movement nice and slow and relaxed. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant those hands, step back to plank, and very slowly release your knees, chest, chin, and roll down to the mat. Inhale, come up for a baby cobra, lifting up your heart. Exhale, back down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, press back to child's pose, knees wide, toes together, and really drop your head over to the mat. So this isn't necessarily a hip opener, but we're starting to work our way into our hips. We're starting to allow ourselves to notice what is going on in that area. So as you are in child's pose, I really want you to just take a deep breath in and side into those hips, really releasing any tension you might have. In fact, as you inhale, press into the base of your palm and send your sit bones a little bit closer towards your heels. So making this a bit of an active child's pose. Again, deep breath in. Exhale, press back. Again, big belly breath in. And exhale it out. Trying to hold no tension, but simply breathing and releasing into the muscles. Bringing your awareness to them, maybe imagining the tendons and the muscles and that psoas muscle for sure. Softening and releasing. Take a big belly breath in, find space. And exhale it out. Rocking your forehead side to side on the mat, releasing any tension, any expectation, or any furrow you might have in your brow, allowing yourself to be open and ready for this practice. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Allow yourself a few more breaths right here, just sinking back a little bit further, allowing yourself to soften into the cradle of your ribs, your thighs, and your ribs connecting. Allowing yourself to soften into the cradle of your hips and breathe. One more big inhale in. And on your exhale, I want you to press into the mat, walk your knees in and come up to tabletop. We're gonna hinge those hips just a little bit to warm them up a little bit more, sending them straight back to your heels and then coming forward to kind of a cobra. Exhale back. So as we press back, you're working into your glutes, and as you come forward, you're stretching those hips just a little bit. And press back. Again, inhale forward, look up to the sky. Exhale back. Just take your time with this. A little meditative moving forward and back. If you want to, feel free to linger in one of the poses. Maybe you want to come forward to cobra and you want to linger and look up. Just make sure you're supporting your hips and your lower back by engaging your core and pressing down into the ground and sending your sit bones straight back again. One more time, inhale everyone, open up that heart. Exhale, this time sweep your hips to the left and walk your hands over to the right. Take your left hand over your right wrist, drop your head in between your arms and allow yourself to weight into the side of your body. So you should feel that stretch from your shoulder all the way down to your hips. Taking a deep breath in and out. This outside of the hip area is the abductor area of those muscles. So it's good to give them a good stretch because sometimes we forget about them because it feels like there's just hip bone there, but there's actual muscle working. Take a deep breath in and out. One more big belly breath in. And on your exhale, walk those hands back forward and pull yourself back up to cobra, lifting up and out of your heart. And on your exhale, sinking to the right side, walking your hands over to the left, Right hand over left wrist and drop your head in between your arms. And again, same thing here, taking a deep breath in and exhaling into that hip, that joint area. Every breath to give you space, like a good giant exhale, a good giant release, a good giant deflation of a balloon. Again, deep breath in and out. One more big inhale. On your exhale, walk those hands back to center. Pull yourself up to cobra, lifting up and out of the heart. And on your exhale, big toes together, knees nice and wide, dropping it down, wiggling those hips back for just a quick inhale and exhale. And inhale, come back up to tabletop. We're gonna move through those hips just a little bit, again, just to keep them warm and lush. Sending it back. On your inhale, you're gonna sweep those hips to the left, wrap around to the front, 
and send them back to the right. So you're creating a nice little circle, sort of a figure eight, as you come forward and back. Sending them as far, go as far to the left as possible and as far to the right as possible. Two more times, inhale, pulling yourself forward. Exhale, wrapping to the right. One more time, inhale to the left and forward. Exhale to the right, heading the opposite direction. Inhale, right, draw yourself forward. Exhale to the left, sweeping it around. Inhale forward, really enjoy this. Kind of take it all the way to the inches and the edges and all that kind of stuff. And feel yourself like moving through like molasses or clay or Play-Doh. Feeling all gooey in the hips. One more time. Inhale to the right, bring it forward. And exhale to the left, send it straight back. Inhale, come forward up to that cobra, lifting up and out of the heart. Exhale, big toes together, wide knees, child's pose. Drop your forehead to the mat, take a deep breath in. And side out the mouth. <sighs> Again, big belly breath in. And out. <sighs> On your next inhale, press into the mat, coming up to tabletop. We're going to start by opening up the upper torso as well. So we're gonna inhale that right arm up to the sky, lifting it nice and high. As you press down into the left hand, that right arm reaches a little bit higher. Slight twist, slight direction of the hip. Opening up, take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Again, big belly breath in and out. It's always good to open up the upper torso as we open up the hips as well to give it a stretch to connect it all together. That upper torso is just as important as those hips. In fact, they are part of the core. Everything that keeps you standing tall and moving. One more big breath in. Exhale, release that right hand down. Inhale, sweep that left arm up to the sky. Find that twist, that open. With every breath, find space. Again, if you can't, take a deep inhale and exhale. Come out of it a little bit. We don't want you twisting where you can't breathe. Again, big belly breath in. And up. One more big inhale. And on your exhale, release that left hand down to the mat. Tuck those toes and softly send your sit bones back. And we're very going to raise up into downward dog. Pressing your heel down, wrapping your shoulder blades under. And just working our stretch from our heels up to our calves, from our calves up to our hamstrings, and our hamstrings around to our glutes and our hips. Taking a deep breath in, pressing back, drop that head, ribs to your thighs. Big inhale in, and exhale it out. We're actually going to move just a little bit on your inhale, ribs to thighs, drop it back. Exhale, press those heels into the ground. Again, inhale, draw the ribs to your thighs. Exhale, press your heels down. Two more times, inhale, and exhale. Last time, big breath in, exhale, press it back. We're going to work our way back to our feet, hands to our feet. You're going to feel that stretch crawl up the backside of your legs, all the way up to your hips as you forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, exhale, fold. Soften those knees, inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, down and around behind you and to heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side out the mouth. Beautiful. Again, big belly breath in and out. Inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, walk those hands out to plank. And very slowly, knees, chest, chin, lower it down to the mat. Inhale, come up for baby cobra. Exhale, back down. Tuck those toes, inhale, hips to heels, pressing back. Exhale, rise to your downward dog. We're gonna go into a three, three-legged three downward dog, which is a bit of a hip stretch. So you're gonna press that left heel down and you're gonna inhale, rise that right leg to the sky. You're gonna reach it up nice and high. Try to rotate those right hips down. Press that left heel into the mat, drop the head, chin to chest. We're here for three, two, and one, big inhale in, exhale, 
exhale, bring that knee to your nose, stepping it through to low runner's lunge. You're gonna pause here just for a minute if you need to, to recreate the position in your body. And on your next exhale, we're gonna release that left knee down, untuck those toes, and come up. So it's kind of like a low runner's lunge crescent. We're gonna work those hips. We're gonna hinge forward a little bit and come back. Again, hinge forward and come back. One more time, hinging forward, softening into that hip. You're gonna pause here for a moment. We'll find a couple variations as we go, but we're gonna stay here. This is our first really deep hip flexor, and I want you to feel your energy come to the top of your knee or the front of your knee. So if you need to, you can fold the mat over to give yourself an extra support, or if that energy is so far forward, you're gonna actually feel most of the weight in your right leg. Pausing here, squaring everything off. On your next inhale, we're gonna continue that stretch up the hips through the upper torso as we reach our arms up to the sky. If you want to, you can interlace your fingers. Keep those biceps near your ear, reaching behind you, lifting that heart, shining open. Maybe you take this time as we pause here in this pose to reconnect with your intention. Deep belly breath in and exhale it out. Again, big belly breath in and out. Really allow yourself to stretch and release, trying to hold no tension in your body. Again, one more big inhale in. And then your exhale, bringing your hands through to heart center and release them down. We're gonna do a little counter pose, which is a half split. So we're gonna come back, hips down to your heels, straightening that right leg, lifting your right toes off the ground and dropping your head. You're gonna feel the stretch in your hamstring. And just to give yourself a little bit more, walk your hands to your feet, and you're gonna feel that stretch crawl up your back as well. Drop the head, chin to chest. Big belly breath in and out. The point of this pose is not to get the hips to your heels, but just the direction of your heels. In fact, you might find more of a stretch if you come up and move your leg forward and drop your head over. So maybe keeping that bent leg at a 90 degree angle. Three more inhales and exhales. Big breath in and exhale it out. One more time, big inhale in and exhale it out. Walking your hands forward to frame that foot. Tuck your left toes under, staying here for just a moment into a deep low runner's lunge. We're gonna stay here pressing that left heel back. Maybe you sink just a little bit lower. Press that head forward as the left heel goes back for three, two, and one. Soften into that left knee. Extend the right leg back to meet and plank. And very slowly, knees, chest, chin, and roll down to the mat. Inhale, come up for baby cobra. And exhale, press back into child's pose. I'm taking you back here because I want you to just take a moment to notice your hips. Yoga is all about finding balance physically, mentally, and energetically. So you'll notice right now that one of your hips feels a little bit more stretched out, which is good. So we're aware of that, and now we're gonna even things out as we move. Take a big breath in, and exhale, side out. And then your next inhale, coming through tabletop, tucking your toes, and pressing back to downward dog. Again, just take a, a moment here real quick to just readjust the pose. Wrapping those shoulder blades under. And then on your next inhale, press that right heel down as you lift that left leg up to the sky. Stretching high. So you should feel this stretch kind of on your front left hip and your right back leg. Reaching here for three, two, and one. Deep breath in. Exhale, step that left foot through. Low runner's lunge. Pausing here for a moment, finding your foundation, squaring everything up. And on your next inhale, you're gonna untuck your right toes, release your right knee, and come up. Same thing here as we did the other side. Square everything off first, and then we're gonna hinge forward. You're welcome to fold the mat over if that right knee needs a little extra pillow. Hinging forward and back. Again, forward and back. One more time, soften into it. Pause here for a second. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna find that stretch on this side. You're gonna feel it on the outside of here as well. Big breath in and out, sink into it. Soften the heart if you want to, close your eyes. Allow yourself to breathe deeply into this stretch. One more big inhale and exhale. 
and on your next inhale, you're going to float those arms up to the sky, maybe interlacing the fingers, point your fingers, reaching up like a C, creating a beautiful arc in the back, trying to keep those biceps as close as you can to your ears. Try not to drop the neck, we don't want to break it. Deep breath in, and out. Again, big belly breath in, and side out the mouth. We're here for three, two, and one more big inhale in. Exhale, release those hands down, frame that left foot, and again, sending back to half split. So you might be more flexible and you might feel your hips going all the way down to your heels, but let's try to stay up and just walk that left leg forward. And drop your head over and walk your hands towards your feet. Lifting those left toes up to the sky, make this an active stretch so that foot is not down, but I want you to feel the top side of your foot pulling towards your knee. Deep breath in and exhale it out. Again, big breath in. Try to soften that knee. It's going to be straight, but soft and not bent. Again, big breath in. And out. Allow yourself to release into it and receive the stretch. One more big inhale. And on your exhale, walk your hands forward, framing that front foot, tucking your right toes under and lifting up into that low runner's lunge. Again, we're going to pause here for just a second. Finding our foundation, pressing that right heel back. Take a big breath in and exhale it out. Again, big inhale in. And on your exhale, press into the ground, soften the knee and step the left foot back and lower down to the mat. Inhale up, baby cobra. Exhale back down and press back into child's pose. Again, see now you can take a moment to notice the evenness of your hips as we stretch them out. Take a deep breath in. Really release it and exhale it out the mouth. Ha. Again, big belly breath in, softening into those hips and exhaling it out. Beautiful. On your next inhale, coming up to tabletop. Exhale, tucking those toes, finding downward dog. Drop that head, chin to your chest. On your next inhale, you're gonna lift that right leg up to the sky, bend at the knee and open up the right hip. So we're gonna press that left hip down, but we're allowing that right hip to open up because of the weight of our body. Try to draw that right shoulder down. If you want to, you can roll your ankles out forward and back, allowing yourself to just kind of enjoy the stretch for a moment. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out. On your next inhale, take that right leg back up to the sky. And on your exhale, stepping it through to that, that right thumb. Pausing for a moment in low runner's lunge, opening up the heart, big breath in. This time we're gonna press into the ground and come up to high lunge crescent. So we're coming up, doing a similar stretch as we did on the floor, rotating everything off, reaching your arms up to the sky, dropping your shoulders. And we're gonna sink just a little bit into our hips, take a deep breath in. Exhale it out, beautiful. Pressing that left heel back, giving it nice and long. So you'll notice as this bends, the different areas that you feel. As you straighten that leg, press that left heel back. Open everything up. Your next inhale, you're gonna reach your arms back and release your fingers just like we did as we were lower down. For three, two, and one. Big inhale in, exhale, release your hands, interlace your fingers at your lower back and draw them down that back leg. It's gonna open up your chest. Like I said, we wanna find the stretch from here all the way up. Connect it. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Again, big inhale in. And exhale it out. One more big breath. Exhale, forward fold. Draw your ribs to your thighs. Take your arms up to the sky and drop your head. Keeping this as a bit of a heart opener as well. Deep breath in and exhale it out. Dropping the head, releasing those hands. We're gonna actually do a little counter hip stretch. You're gonna step that left foot in about halfway for pyramid pose. Pressing that right hip back and dropping your head. Taking a big breath in and out. You're welcome to leave your hands here or if you want to, you can bring them back to your lower back and continue that heart opener up towards the sky. 
We're going to enjoy the stretch for a moment. Again, your legs are straight, but your knees are soft. Pull that right hip back, left hip forward. Drop that head, chin to chest. Try not to hold anything in your neck. Big belly breath in. And exhale it out. Again, big belly breath in. And on your next exhale, release your hands down to frame that right foot. Soften the right knee. Step the left foot forward. And come all the way up to the sky. All the way up. Exhale down and around to heart center. Take a deep breath in. And side out the mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant those hands, step back to plank, lower your knees, and chest, chin down. Inhale up for cobra. Exhale back down, tuck those toes, sit bones to your heels, and press back into downward dog. Pause here, taking a deep breath in, softening your knees, pressing everything back, wrapping those shoulders under. And on your next inhale, you're gonna press that right heel into the mat, left leg reaches up to the sky. Reach it nice and high. We're going to bend at the knee and open up that left side. Again, readjust so that left shoulder comes down. If you want to, feel free to roll open your ankles forward and back. Enjoy the stretch. Allow that hip opener to give you a good stretch. Forward and back. A couple more inhales and exhales right here. Nice and strong. On your next inhale, take that left leg back up to the sky. Exhale, step it through to that left thumb, low runner lunge, coming through your hands, framing it off. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, you're going to press into your left foot and rise up to crescent. Framing everything off. Again, readjusting as you need to. Hip straight forward. And press that right heel back so we have a nice, long, long, long line. Activate that core. Arms up to the sky, drop your shoulders, deep breath in, and exhale it out. Beautiful. Big breath in, and out. Nice. Sink a little bit lower. Interlace your fingers, reach your pointers up to the sky, and give that stretch, that openness from your upper torso through your thigh. Big inhale in, and exhale it out. Again, big belly breath in. And out. One more inhale. And your exhale, sweep your hands down, interlace your fingers, draw them down that back chest, and sink a little bit deeper into your hip. Keep the core active, supporting the back, and your gaze is still up towards the sky. But the more your arms go down your leg, the more you sink, the more you open. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. It's like an Alice in Wonderland event. Big breath in. Drop that head. Reach those arms up to the sky. Feel nice and light. Keep your hips nice and open and stretched. Deep breath in. Press into the ground with that left leg. One more inhale. On your exhale, release those hands and you're going to step that right foot up about six inches and stretch that left leg, pulling the left hip back. Dropping your head over, release it chin to chest. Big inhale in. Exhale, side out the mouth. Beautiful. Dropping that head. Again, if you want to, a variation, interlace your fingers at your lower back. Lift them up to the sky as you drop over just a little bit more. Big inhale. Big exhale. Again, big inhale. Big exhale. One more inhale in. On your exhale, release your hands, soften your left knee. Step that right foot forward. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, down and around to heart center. Take a big breath in. Slowly side out the mouth. Beautiful. Again, big breath in. And out. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant those hands, step back to plank, lowering down to your mat. Inhale, come up to cobra. This time, exhale, send your sit bones back to a closed-legged child's pose. Dropping your forehead, wrapping your hands around fingers to pinkies, and just wrap those shoulders over for three. 
two, and one. Big belly breath in, and exhale, side out. On your next inhale, press into the ground, and come up to hero's pose. If you have a block and you need it for your knees, feel free to place it in between your legs. We're gonna pause here, we're gonna do a little stretch. It's gonna be a heart opener and a chest opener as well. So inhale, press into the ground, open these up. We're gonna find camel first, pressing your palms on your hips, fingertips down. You're gonna open up towards the back. So we're gonna press those hips, but make sure we're keeping that lower back supported. If at any point this feels twingy, come out of it. Pressing down, looking up. If you'd like to go a little bit further, you can take those hands down to your heels, opening up. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Again, big belly breath in, and out. One more inhale. On your exhale, very slowly walking it back up. This time we're gonna open up our knees just a little bit. If this is in your practice, we're gonna reach our way back to a supported hero's pose where you're gonna lay your sit bones on your block or you're welcome to find your way all the way in between your legs. So we're gonna slowly start camel, then reach it down, and then you're gonna slowly release your hips and come all the way down. So that supported block will be right under your hips, supporting you, keeping you raised, so you support that lower back. You're gonna find this stretch right on your upper thighs, Taking a deep breath in and exhaling it out. Again, big belly breath in and out. One more inhale. Exhale, press into the ground. Slowly come up very carefully. We're gonna go over to a counter pose, dropping your heels and hips and everything together for that close like a child's pose. Drop your head over and wrap your hands back towards your pinky toes. Softening through that lower back. Take a deep breath in. And exhale it out the mouth. Again, big belly breath in. And exhale it out. On your next inhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward. Coming up to tabletop, softening the back, going through a little cat, and tucking the toes back into downward dog. Take a big belly breath in. And sigh it out the mouth. Ha! Ah. Again, big breath in. And out. Nice. On your next inhale, you're going to press that left foot into the mat. You're going to take your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend at the knee, open up the hip. One more time, inhale, take that leg back up to the sky. Exhale, you're going to bring it through for pigeon, taking your right knee to your right wrist, walking your left leg behind you. So we're going to sit up nice and tall. If you need to, you can place a block or a blanket under your right hip. With your hands at your hips, open up that chest. A lot of people fold straight over. But I want to encourage you to feel like you're walking up a ladder. So as we go forward, we elongate the spine. And it gets longer and longer. Almost like you're pulling yourself as long as possible until you drop your head over. Taking a deep breath in. And sighing it out the mouth. Sometimes we often hold tension in our elongated hip. I want you to take a deep breath in this next time and really try to soften it and release it out. Same thing as we release into this right hip. Take a big breath in. Imagine the space that you're creating around that joint. The tendons, the muscles, the psoas, of course, the most important thing to think about. Take a deep breath in and really release it out. If you're holding any fears or in any anxieties, right now I want your awareness to be all around that right hip, giving it as much focus and as much awareness as possible to release what no longer serves you. Big breath in. Exhaling it out. Big breath in. And out. Allow yourself to soften into this pose. Your mind might start wandering. So I invite you to bring your awareness to that right hip and really just see the breath move through it. Big breath in and out. Again, big belly breath in and out. 
One more long, deep, full inhale. And on your exhale, very slowly walking your hands back to your hips, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna do king pigeon. We're gonna reach back for that left leg. You're gonna place your right hand on the inside of your leg. You're gonna bend that left leg and you're going to reach back for it. So the goal of this is for you to bring that leg to your body. So with every inhale, I want you to inch that leg forward. Again, inhale, draw it in. Maybe you start getting close to that, hooking it into your elbow. But find the stretch, bringing it towards you. You're gonna feel that stretch on your quads. It's gonna feel amazing. You're gonna look back in the direction of your leg. If you want to, you can just keep it in the hand if that helps. We're here for three lovely breaths. If you want, and it's in your practice, and you can reach back, get that elbow. You can reach that right arm up and head back for your fingers. If it's in your practice, shining open for three, two, and one. Big inhale in. Exhale, release those hands over. Very slowly let that left leg go. And we are very carefully gonna roll onto our right hip and sweep that left leg around for reverse pigeon. You're gonna either place the left hand leg in front of you or on top, whatever is in your practice. And it might be different for different sides. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Pull those glutes out from under you. Inhale your arms up and exhale. <sighs> Allow yourself to just hang over. So you don't want to support yourself. You want to allow the weight of your body to allow yourself to drip over. Take a deep breath in and really sink into your hips. I like to think of this as like a different version of child's pose. I like to think of it as like when you're a kid and you want to be held. Well, allow your body to hold you right now in this moment. Big breath in and sigh it out. Again, big breath in, and big breath out. It's a lovely stretch. We are releasing all that tension in our hips. And then on your next inhale, very slowly rolling up. Draw those knees together, tuck those toes under, and press back into downward dog. Walking it out just a second. Those are some really intense stretches. And moving on to the other side. On your inhale, press that right heel down. Left leg rises up towards the sky. And very slowly opens up the hip just for a breath. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, take that left leg back up to the sky. Exhale, walk it through left knee to left wrist and walk that right leg back. So again, setting this up, feel free to grab a block or a blanket to place under your left hip, lifting up and out of it. Again, just the same as the other side, we want to walk our vertebrae long as we fold over that left leg. Allow yourself to just drape over and release any tension on this side that you might have. Always remember that we are not symmetrical human beings. In fact, we are rather asymmetrical. I mean, we're right-handed and left-handed to start with. We're the same with our legs. And whether we use a mouse in our left hand or we use a mouse in our right hand will change our posture, which will change our hip placement, which will change our sides of our bodies. So as you're in pigeon, you might notice one side feels tighter than the other or looser than the other. It doesn't mean it's bad, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just different. Allowing this awareness brings your practice a step further. So if you know that your left side is a little bit tighter, you can soften and breathe into it a little bit more, spending a little bit more time and stretching it. Again, no judgment of that left hip or that lack of flexibility. Just take the information to guide you in your practice. Big breath in and out. Allow yourself to stay focused with that left hip. Again, as always, bringing your awareness to the muscles, the tendons, and the joints. Big breath in and exhale it out. One more time, big inhale, big exhale. 
Very slowly walking your hands up to your hips, coming out of it nice and slow. We're gonna reach back for that right leg. Place your left hand on the inside and reach back for it. Again, drawing it to you. You might notice it might be a little tight. Again, fidgeting around. If it's in your practice, you can reach back for your toes and hook those elbows around and then reach your hand behind your head and look up for King Pigeon. Be smart with your body. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out. And if you want to, you can just try this for a second and then you're welcome to come out of it. You don't have to hold it the whole time. Just hold it for what suits you in this moment. Deep breath in and exhale, release it out. Bring those hands down, lower that leg and very softly come off to your left hip and draw that right leg around in front of or on top of. Nice and tall, sitting up again. Grab those glutes if you need to. Big inhale and exhale it out. Inhale, take your arms up and exhale, soften it over and allow yourself to release. I want you to take this moment, since it feels like child's pose to me, and bring yourself to that childlike wonderment of your life, that curiosity and desire you have to create. Like when you do crafts at school, when you explore band, theater, choir, art, all those things in elementary school. I want you to bring your awareness to your creative side. Maybe exploring some things, new hobbies you want to try, new curiosities in your job. Maybe you want to go dancing, take a cooking class, read a book. Take a moment and I want you to just see what comes up for you. What creative things that you desire and you want to explore. And allow yourself to have a soft smile as you think about it. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. One more time, big belly breath in. And out. On your next inhale, walk your hands up. And we're going to actually release our legs forward. We're going to grab our glutes and pull them out from under us. We're going to give them a nice little stretch, the back sides of our legs. Sitting up nice and tall, we're going to inhale, reach our arms up to the sky. And instead of just holding over, we're going to actually elongate the back of our legs by reaching forward. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach forward right in front of you. See, as you notice, you'll feel that stretch. The more you reach forward, the more that stretch wraps all the way around. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach a little bit further. Again, big belly breath in. Exhale, reach a little bit further. One more time, big inhale in. Exhale, grab your knees, shins, ankles, feet, and pull yourself over, and you're now allowed to drop that head. But make this an active stretch. You're still pulling yourself forward. Big inhale in. And exhaling it out. Big inhale. And exhale. Allowing yourself to drop your head, chin to chest. Maybe you soften your elbows and pull yourself one more inch further. And on your next inhale, very slowly rolling up and drawing your legs in, the soles of your feet together. We're going to press our elbows into our inner thighs. Grab your feet or your ankles. We're going to sit tall. And as you soften your elbows, press in and drop your head over. So this is going to be a nice inner thigh stretch. Big breath in and exhale it out. Beautiful. Giving yourself this openness. How often do we sit like this? When we were kids, we sat like this a lot. But now as adults, we sit in chairs. <laughs> so this is a good stretch to allow your body to open up, the hips to soften. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Drop the head. Again, big breath in. And out. You'll notice the more you stretch, the more you release, the more you soften. Your body's going to sink into those stretches a little bit deeper. Go with it like a pillow or a bed or a couch. One more inhale. And on your next exhale, roll up. Draw your knees into your chest. Give them a good hug. And exhale, walk the legs out nice and long. We're going to do a little hip stretcher. One more hip stretcher as if we haven't done several. Rolling it back down to the mat. You're going to bring your knees up. 
We're gonna take that left leg and you're gonna cross it over like a figure four. You're gonna press your left hand into your left thigh to open it up just a little bit. Keep that left heel flexed. You're gonna take both your hands and you're gonna reach behind your right thigh and draw it into the chest. You're gonna take that right leg, you're gonna flex it and extend it up to the sky. And you're gonna slowly pull that right leg a little bit closer. And as you do that, you're gonna press that left elbow into your right thigh. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out. Again, deep breath in and out. One more inhale. And on your next exhale, you're gonna bend that right leg very slowly to find a 90 degree angle. And you're gonna press that right knee into the left ankle. And you're gonna feel that hip stretch go a little bit deeper. Again, big belly breath in. And exhale it out. Again, pull that leg in. And press that right knee into your ankle. These are active stretches. One more big inhale. On your exhale, soften that right leg down. Undo your left leg. Whew. Send it long and bring it back in. Taking that right leg, figure four over the left, flex the foot. Open it up with your right leg just to just give it a little spread. Take both hands, reach behind your left thigh and draw it into the body. Press your right elbow into the thigh and flex the left foot as it extends up to the sky pulling it in towards your body. So you're not gonna feel anything unless you aren't involved. So as long as you're pulling that leg in, you're gonna to start to feel that stretch. Big breath in, big breath out. One more time right here, big breath in and out. Very slowly bending that left leg, finding 90 degree angle, pressing that left knee into your ankle drawing it into the chest. Again, making this an active stretch so you are always pressing that left knee forward. Big breath in and out. Really breathe into it and out. One more inhale. Exhale, release that right leg down. Undo the left leg. Send it long real quick and bring it back in. Our last yummy hip opener, we're gonna do bridge. You're gonna take your hands, you're gonna scoop them up, down, and under your sit bones. And we're gonna very slowly rise our hips up to the sky, pressing those heels down. The crazy thing about this pose is, if you actually just think about your heels and your shoulders, your hips will rise naturally without any tension or muscling. But if you think about your hips and your core, you have a tendency to pinch your back. So press those heels down, press those shoulders down, and allow the hips to rise as they do. Big breath in, and exhale it out. Again, big breath in, and out. One more large inhale in. Exhale, lower your sit bones to the ground. Draw your knees into the chest for happy baby. Walk those hands up and give yourself a nice little stretch. This is also a hip opener, so why not enjoy it? Big inhale in. And on your exhale, place the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to open up wide. Place your left hand on your belly, right hand on your heart. Just take a few moments to connect the physical, your breath, with your energetics, your heart. And I want you to soften into this. And I want you to again come back to that childlike curiosity. The creative, creativity in your life. Even if you don't feel like you're creative, because maybe you, you think your job is too square, everything can be creative. The way you make your coffee in the morning. The clothes you choose. Anything can be creative. Take a moment. Allow your imagination to wander. Deep breath in. And on your next exhale, soften those legs forward, releasing your arms down and allowing yourself to release in Shavasana. Big belly breath in. 
Big sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Again, one more time. Big inhale in. And exhale, just melt into your mat. Very slowly take a deep breath in. Very slowly sigh it out the mouth. Very slowly big belly breath in. Stretching your arms over and beyond your head. Pointing your toes long. And on your exhale, very slowly rolling over to the right side. Supporting your head with your hands like a pillow. Taking a pause. Just for you. <sighs> and on your next inhale, pressing into the ground, rising to a comfortable seated position with your eyes closed and your hands resting naturally where they lay. Take a moment to remember where you were before your practice, what you experienced during, and how you feel now. As always, this awareness comes with no judgment or expectation, simply information to guide you in your next breath, your next step, and your next moment. Drawing your hands to heart center, we're gonna close with an ohm. We're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and ohm. Deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Again, deep breath in. creative, and full of childlike curiosity and wonderment. Namaste.